what do we do after muster? We eat. Number case and lunch in the wind jammer. All kind of salads, coleslaw, pesto, pesto, pasta, pesto salad, tuna, Caesar dressing, ranch dressing, or raspberry dressing. You got some some rice here. You got some grilled veggies, some mashed potatoes and gravy, and the huge roasted beef top round. And they're almost he's almost done with that one. He's having to start a new one. We have paella rice. Corn on the cob, roasted potatoes, grilled mahi-mahi with lemon butter sauce, barbecue pork ribs, barbecue sauce, looks like beef stew, and garlic rosemary roast chicken. You ready for that? <laughs> yeah, that chicken looks good. And here's the bakery section. You've got cheese, soft roll, barra bread, multi-grain bread with sesame seed, baguettes, garlic cheese bread spirals with sauce, spicy mayonnaise, cheese spread, and beef spread. So maybe uh, you can start a little sandwich because they have uh, sandwiches over here too. And then antipasta. And here's the sandwich fixins right here to go with that so the sauces and the breads we saw around the corner. And then this is the burger area. You have your hot dog and your burger buns with your lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, and cheese. You have turkey burgers and beef burgers, chili beef, barbecue sauce, and hot dogs, along with cheese sauce and fries. Mac and cheese, I'm giving me some of that. Grilled mahi-mahi, lemon butter sauce paella, grilled veggies and gravy. The repeat starts on this part of the bar, the back part of the ship, that the side portion we just saw also has. And then, of course, you gotta have your bread pudding with vanilla sauce. In this portion of the bar, you have chicken noodle soup and potato leek soup, along with cheese sauce for your tortilla chips and some tortilla bread, along with all tomato salsa, guacamole, sour cream, your lettuce, all your like nacho fixings, basically along with all your condiments. You got your mayo and your mustard and your ketchup. And over here is your salad section. You got Caesar dressing, Thousand Island, and honey mustard, along with a couple of buckets of lettuce there and all your salad veggies. You got some peppers and cauliflower, carrots, corn, tomatoes, cucumber, and then coleslaw here, chicken curry, bean stew. Again, kind of a repeat of what we saw over on the side. Vegetable fried rice, beef, Calderetta, chana masala, and roti, and papadum. So you've got some international flavors here on this side. This is the pasta bar, and they make, they make the pasta for you in those skillets, so you can ask for whatever type of sauces and pasta you want. They have bolognese sauce and carbonara sauce, along with the veggies, and different kind of meats, chicken and ham, and it looks like some beef there, along with cheese, and all kind of veggies. And they got spaghetti and marinara down here. And of course, my favorite section, the dessert section. Lemon cookies and coconut cookies. I think they also call those ranger cookies. They're my favorite. You've got apple pound cake and coconut cream puff along with different flavors of Jello, chocolate bar, what they're calling. It looks like kind of a pie cake version of a chocolate bar. More apple pound cake and some raspberry tart. For those of you who might be looking for gluten-free, they have an entire gluten-free little section over here. Looks like maybe some yogurt and Jello, as well as, I don't know, maybe frozen yogurt. I'm not sure what that is with the raspberry. It says blueberry cheesecake. And no sugar added desserts as well. Black Forest, they say, no sugar added. You got your coconut cream puff and a pineapple pie, along with some more jello and pineapple upside down cake. Dessert time. I got the upside down pound cake, the scone, scone something, I don't remember what that one was, and the apple pound cake. And of course, ranger cookies. That pineapple upside down cake was pretty good. What'd you think about it? 
It was good. I mean, it's basic, you know, cake. It kind of tastes like moist. it came out of a box. Right, it is moist though. And sweet like it's supposed to be. The scone is filled with, if you'll turn it sideways. Yeah, it's filled with a uh, cream. Puff. Puff. It's a cream puff, yeah. It was pretty good. And the apple pound cake, I think you'll like. I ate it already. And I haven't tried the Ranger cookie yet. Pull that cookie apart, JJ. So let's see how soft it is. Hey, pretty soft. Taste. Always. Thumbs up. Appetizer. Oh, Caesar salad. That's usually what you get, right? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And I got the crab cake. That looks nice, so the actually. The onions and the tomatoes will be gone, and the crab cake and the dressing will be in my bag. This time we're sharing with you the actual taste of the food and not just the food. So how's your Caesar? Caesar's good. Excellent good. as always. Very good. Crab cake tastes good, but it seems like it needs to be cooked a little longer. Okay, like undercooked. Maybe a little uh, crispier, like on the outside. It's not raw or anything, but I just expected it to be a little crispier. It's still better than I eat at home. Main course. Prime rib. A little horseradish sauce okay, on the side. Veggies. Yeah. Fried battered fish and shrimp. And it looks like green peas and maybe potatoes in the middle. Experience with your prime rib? Um, it was not up to par for royal. It was wafer thin and it was fatty. Okay, again, first night. First night, maybe, give it, extend a little grace. Maybe not the best. Right. And mine was kind of similar. Um, the potatoes that came in the middle of the fish and scallop and shrimp were lukewarm to already kind of cold when I started eating the potatoes. Um, everything else was pretty good. Like the outside of the fish was crispy, but it, was, it quickly became lukewarm. First night. We know how it goes, and every other cruise we've been on, it's gotten better as we progress in the week. Day two breakfast in the Windjammer. Biscuits and gravy. I'm a southern girl, got to have your biscuits and gravy. An egg omelet, because I, ha I was gonna have to stand in line for fried eggs on some other ships. They've had like actual fried eggs already made, but they didn't on Explorer here. And some chicken sausage, and of course, my colorful fruit bowl. Four hard boiled eggs. Little oatmeal with cinnamon and raisin, and a little chicken sausage. And black, coffee. black coffee and a little cream for the oatmeal. Breakfast was very good, very healthy. But now I'm going to blow it. Almost all your fruit, and yet look what's on top. Well, a man's got to have his priorities. I'm just saying. Here we go. And you can let us know. I approve. I will say. This is the best donut I've ever had on any Royal Caribbean ship. I have not been impressed with donuts before because they're not like American fried donuts. I don't know how they're different. It's the flour or something. But this icing is amazing. And even the dough is pretty darn good. So I say Explorer of the Seas gets a double thumbs up for their donuts. We start the breakfast off with some blueberry parfait, strawberry parfait, bircher muesli, and some mixed fruit smoothie. That drink right there evidently is a mixed fruit smoothie. Then you got your scrambled eggs with bacon, and regular scrambled eggs, and plenty of bacon, pork sausage, and chicken sausage with a few peppers, green and red it looks like mixed in and the huge roasted turkey along with your boiled eggs <clears throat> JJ loves those he says he knows what he's getting hash browns crispy to perfection it looks like along with corned beef hash some baked beans and roasted tomato cheese omelet and the lovely biscuits and gravy and then this line tops off with some pastry you got some muffins of a couple of kind and some donuts and some bread and then your butter and you have your grits and oatmeal back there in the back along with your hot milk and is that cheese i'm not sure what that is it looks like it's cheese grated cheese and raisins and brown sugar if you're looking for beverages in the windjammer you've got regular decaf and hot water as well as some 
teas that you can make yourself. You got green tea, Earl Grey, black tea, a mint medley, herbal tea, English breakfast, cozy chamomile, and then you have your half and half and your regular milk for your coffees, along with water and apple juice and orange juice. And we got some fruit mixed in over here, chopped up and whole. And then you got your ice machine and more coffee over here. Here we have our bread section. You got your sourdough and your baguettes, your mixed seed loaf and plain soft rolls, along with more pastries, more muffins, lovely, some kind of raisin bread over there. That looks good. And grape, peanut butter, and orange marmalade. And this section has um, some deli meat, tomatoes, and cheese, and grapes, and nuts. Uh, it, they're called mortadella is what the the sign is on them and then avocado and citrus toast and this section has some of the same things but you got your toast that looks like white toast more boiled eggs hard boiled eggs and bacon um, hash browns and potatoes right there that we didn't have in the other bar you've got two sets of scrambled eggs one with bacon and one without more pork sausage chicken sausage and more biscuits and gravy and cheese omelets already made up for you. Over here it looks like we have kind of an, some international foods. Looks like another set of hash browns, but we also have something that's called shira, S-H-E-E-R-A, shira, Indian eggs, burhi, garlic fried rice, and some more roasted tomatoes. And if you want fried eggs, he will take your order, right? <laughs> and you can get anything you want yeah, in your omelet. Your face. Good, uh, special made. <laughs> Thanks, chef. Excellent. Great job. They will do it up in the griddle hot. And you get a little beeper also. And because the breakfast buffet never ends on Explorer the Seas, you have the waffle station. I've got all kind of sauces for you, chocolate sauce, blueberry compote, and bread crust along with nuts and it looks like maybe some chocolate chocolate pieces your white chocolate pancakes wow right there and it looks like regular waffles right there buttermilk pancakes and banana pancakes french toast refilling the maple syrup as we speak thank you and we got oatmeal, more oatmeal and hot milk along with brown sugar and raisins over here. This is labeled your toast and bagel station. So I guess you can make up any kind of bagel you want. You got your beetroot smoked salmon, black currant smoked salmon, dill smoked salmon, and regular smoked salmon along with cottage cheese and not sure, oh, cream cheese and onions and lemon and shallots and more tomatoes. And then the already made up uh, smoked salmon plates for you. They call this the milk and yogurt bar. You got some strawberry parfait, blueberry parfait, mercher muesli. I think we saw some of that up front. And more mixed fruit smoothie. We saw that also. Then more chopped up fresh fruit that she's refilling for us right now. We got plain yogurt and strawberry yogurt, granola, and more bircher muesli. And more smaller chopped up fruit it looks like to put in your yogurt mixes and they've added blueberry compote and then you have some look like canned fruits probably with added sugar along with grapefruit and then the package plain yogurt and blueberry yogurt and then chocolate and fat free and whole milk of course, breakfast is not complete without your cereal bar, raisin bran, frosted flakes, Kellogg's corn flakes, rice krispies, fruit loops, Kellogg's corn flakes again, rice krispies again, and heading it off with Cheerios. Lunchtime, I have prepared a double meat bunless hamburger patty with ranch dressing, side salad consisting of multiple greens, tomatoes, Carrots, onions, cauliflower with a side of pasta, veggies, and black olives. I'm literally still not hungry from breakfast, so I didn't get a lot. I got some breaded pork, uh, mac and cheese, always rocks, and some grilled zucchini and squash. Dessert time! 
and I didn't, we didn't get a whole lot this time. We're still gonna share. This is a pistachio pound cake, and the, it looks like raisin cookies. Raisin oatmeal. And this is like a coconut something tart. So the coconut something tart, you use the word interesting. The texture is, um, <laughs> is more dense than a pudding and more dense than a custard. And there's definitely coconut in it, but I don't know how to describe it. It's just, <laughs> it's very tasty. And the pound cake is going in my mouth because it's lovely. So I definitely taste coconut. It's a little gummy consistency at first. Like I was kind of surprised because... Gummy would be a right, yeah. Yeah, it's much thicker than like cheesecake, obviously. Yeah, yeah obviously. But it tastes <clears throat> good. It's not very sweet at first and then it kind of yeah. lingers. Front part of the line. Excellent. Starts with Nikwa. I never know how to say that, Nikwa. And vegetable pasta salad and all your salad fixins along with Caesar dressing, raspberry dressing, and blue cheese. And there's your white rice and your grilled vegetables. Toasted pork loin with applesauce. You got some ratatouille, breaded pork, and some tartar sauce. Here's your blackened tilapia with pineapple sauce. Looks like a little like pineapple relish. It looks really good. And then here's beef stew and sweet chili chicken and sweet chili sauce. We have the ever popular macaroni and cheese and all of your pastas. They have an arabiata sauce, looks like spaghetti, and a pesto sauce with some noodles along with mashed potatoes and gravy and bread pudding and vanilla sauce. They also have a fried rice station which is always busy and I'm not just going to take up room in line but both ends have the hot skillets ready to put in your fried rice and all the fixings including some of the meat. And for you gluten-free eaters they have a line just for you. And today for lunch we have sweet chili sauce and sweet chili chicken, blackened tilapia, some ratatouille on this end as well, cauliflower and peas curry with white rice. Large dessert bar starts with Boston cream pie, more pistachio pound cake over here along with chocolate bar, yellow and red Jello, <laughs> Javanis coffee chocolate cream puff. That's a mouthful. Oatmeal and raisin cookies. And lemon cookies. Peach almond pie. Coconut custard tart that we saw on the other bar. Along with more cream puffs. And more scones and berries on this end. Some no sugar added dessert for you. This is chocolate fondant and caramel pot de cream, which is gluten-free as well. Appetizer number one. Number one, my favorite, escargot. Move that bread so we can see and I, it's I want to see if it's hot because I like it hot. It's not as hot as I like it, but it'll do. Here is the MDR menu for night two for you to pause and or snap a picture of. I got my favorite calamari and I will just simply move all the red and white stuff out of the way and it'll just be my little squid and the sauce and me. My little squigglies are very crispy which is what you always want when you have something fried and the sauce tastes like Thousand Island dressing. I don't know. All I know is it's good. Two nights at the main dining room it looks like inflation has continued here for my <laughs> Caesar salad. Like everything you're That's getting less. 50% of what it used to be, but I'm sure it's going to be extremely tasty. But it was good last night, right? It was good. Appetizer number two, because if you didn't know, you can order as many appetizers or main course or desserts as you want in the main dining room. So my appetizer number two is the pumpkin soup. Let's see. Just the right amount of pumpkin-y. Is that a word? Pumpkin-y? Pumpkin it is now. I'll it's an it MDR cruising word. Pumpkin-y. <laughs> it's like it has some kind of cheese. Like, I, I don't know. So all you have to do is ask. The white things in the pumpkin soup were sour cream little blobs. 
and I'm telling you, this may be my new favorite appetizer for Royal Caribbean. I, I don't know. It would have to run a second to calamari because I love me some calamari, but this pumpkin soup is really good. Time for the main course. Medium rare beef tenderloin nice. with asparagus, mashed potatoes, okay. and brown gravy. Take a bite and let's see. I ordered it medium rare. It's perfect. A little bit of mushroom there too. That's good for Ooh, the brown gravy. You were just gravy. saying you hadn't seen any mushrooms in the wind jammer. Right, right. Well, the fresh mushrooms have gone by the wayside, right. I think. Anyway, let's give this a shot. Okay, Here we and go. the brown gravy. Very tender. Up to par. Cooked perfect. I got the seafood linguine, which includes shrimps and scallops and... There may be some calamari in there as clams. well. Clams. Uh, there is calamari. There you go. Unfried. I just right. got done with fried. Right. And then it's got, you know, the pasta sauce. It's out, supposed to be Alfredo. Yeah, I'm looking forward to helping you finish that. It's not like Texas Alfredo, I'll tell you that, okay? But it's more buttery than Southern Alfredo sauce, but let's see how it's tasting. As good as ever, up to par. Dessert. And that's a really small piece of carrot cake. Uh, so I may be asking for another one, I'm not sure. JJ got the same thing. And the carrot cake? It'll be perfect when my decaf coffee shows up. Sweeter than I expected, because oftentimes with the foreign chefs, they don't make things as sweet as what we're used to in the U.S. You know, everything's like double, triple sweetened. Um, but the, the icing is very sweet and the cake is very moist. So two thumbs up on the carrot cake. So I'm having my 12 year old lunch today on day three, a sea day. And you'll see what I mean when you see it. It's a chili dog and fries and ketchup and cheese sauce. So, you know, cheese sauce and fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm on vacation. I can eat like a 12 year old if I want, huh? Got my veggie salad with ranch dressing and I have a uh... Two hamburger patties, no cheese, no bun. Something you said you'd never seen. This is black bean soup and it's pureed. I'm used to having the whole black beans, but I'm, I'm gonna give this a shot because it's uh, extra protein. The chili has beans. This can be a big debate. This has beans, heads up. And the fries, a little bit on the soggy side. Uh, they were hot. But if you're wanting fries, you might like come a little late. So they've had time to sit under the burners and get crispy. And he said the, the black bean soup was excellent. Good choices. Dessert, pecan pie. Being from Texas, we'll be the judge of that pecan, pecan. Or pecan. Pecan, I say pecan, and I'm a born and bred Texas girl. I don't know. We got a pistachio cream puff here. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, look at that. Yummy. And some raspberry pound cake. That's a bite that's in my belly right now. In and it's belly. very moist and good. And then of course... Ranger cookie. Also known as crack cookies. Yeah, good stuff. You seem to be enjoying the cream puff. He's no, it's, ter it's terrible. I didn't think it was very sweet inside. We have a pecan pie review. Outstanding. It's uh, more of a pecan nougat than a syrup. It was very crunchy. It's very meaty. Right. Meaty. With the broken pecans inside and then the chocolate layer right above the crust between the crust and the, we'll call it nougat, but yeah, it was excellent. And he still has yet to eat his don't ranger cookie. Don't even, don't even try it. I had to go get a second of my own. Don't even try it. What did we decide? We decided to come no, to Wendy. No MDR tonight. No fancy clothes. No fancy clothes. I haven't even showered yet. We That's are just. TMI. And what did you choose for dinner? Chicken breast. Chicon. Yeah. Uh, and grilled veggies. Roasted grilled veggies, salad, and pasta. And I mixed a little bit of uh, tomato sauce and a little bit of cream sauce. We'll see how that works out. Par Parmesan, fresh grated Parmesan. They didn't have any ranch dressing. I was disappointed. Somebody from Texas, that's just an American. You can put everything on, you can put ranch on everything, right? Put ranch on cereal. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I have the most odd conglomerate of food 
which usually happens to me at dinner in the Windjammer. So let's look. We have nachos and I couldn't find cheese sauce so I just have a chili on top of my chips along with some fried noodles. It was on the international bar and this said chicken fried steak. Looks like it might be chicken because it is. it's white. Looks good. But the sign said chicken fried steak and Which to is southerners beef. chicken fried steak right. means beef. It is probably breaded chicken. And the last in the odd conglomerate is baked potato soup. And I actually want to taste this. It's not chunky. So those of you who don't like chunky It's pureed. Soup, yeah. Kind of like my black bean soup for lunch. Excellent. Excellent potato soup. Okay, let's try the nachos. Good. Critique for Windjammer dinner. My non-chicken fried chicken. Yes, your regular pan, chicken. Pan fried and seasoned yes. is very tasty, um, a bit on the dry side for me. The vegetables are excellent. Pane pasta with the tomato and cream sauce mixture. The sauces are a little thin in uh, my opinion because we're spoiled with our Italian restaurant. They make it as thick as paste. Yeah, anyway, uh, but it's got a nice flavor. Dinner in the Windjammer. Garden salad and Mexican corn salad with several salad fixings there, including croutons and what looks like mozzarella cheese maybe. With blue cheese dressing, honey mustard, and sealer dressing, you've got your tortilla chips. They're telling us this is the across the border menu. Tortilla chips and chili con carne. I was disappointed that they didn't have any cheese sauce, like the nacho sauce right here to finish off your nachos. But they do have fried yucca. I'm going to top this section off with roasted beef brisket and horseradish sauce. They continue with the Mexican food with mac and cheese and it looks like fried rice. They don't have a sign above it, but I know my fried rice, so that's what it looks like. Probably Mexican rice, mac and cheese, refried beans, and what they call chicken fried steak. For all you Southerners, I'm just going to say... It's chicken, because I already ate it. And tartar sauce here that I'm not sure what that's supposed to go on. Chili rellenos, frijoles de ola, which just look like a couple of different kinds of beans. Chimichangas and calabacitas guisada. The bakery line tonight includes sourdough bread and baguettes, along with a little butter packets, pumpkin bread and cheese soft rolls along with all kinds of cheeses and side like carrots. It looks like uh, pumpkin seeds maybe here and sliced almonds and sunflower seeds, which JJ mentioned he hadn't seen yet. Cheese and great grilled chicken breast along with a Bordelais sauce, grilled steak with peppercorn sauce, Bernays sauce, chimichurri, and some mojo marinated pork chops along with Moroccan style sloppia with some pepper coulis sauce and I guess this is for the baked potatoes because that's what's next. So it looks like they had sour cream cheese and bacon bits here for the baked potatoes along with grilled veggies and gravy and mashed potatoes of course and they top this section off with beef brisket and horseradish as well. Over here in what they call the vegetarian section they have some cool fruits. Uh, they have roti and papadum along with palak paneer and Greek vegetarian moussaka. And then there's white rice and the stir fried noodles which I did get and they are spicy. It was a very, they had a good taste though and then mixed pickles and mango chutney. On the opposite side from the international bar, they have beef stroganoff, more grilled vegetables, different grilled vegetables than we saw before, fish curry, along with a creamy white sauce and some noodles. And then there's different kinds. It looks like spaghetti and spaghetti sauce right here with some Parmesan cheese, along with French onion soup and baked potato soup. The other desserts they have tonight for dinner are raspberry cheesecake, raspberry pound cake. We've had that a couple of times, it was good. Chocolate bar, some kind of red jello, a coffee cheesecake, 
and a Mississippi mud pie, along with the famous cookies they always have, oatmeal and raisin cookies and lemon cookies. They also have brownies, peach pie, dark chocolate brownie, looks like a yogurt dish maybe. This is the no sugar added dessert section. They have signs up also for gluten-free dessert. This is lemon meringue cup gluten-free, strawberry peach shortcake, no sugar added, and strawberry charlotte, they're calling it, which is also gluten-free. And then tonight for dinner, they're also making crepes for people, fresh on the grill with all kinds of toppings. Strawberry sauce, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, some, it looks like peanut butter chips maybe, chocolate shavings, crushed graham crackers and breadcrumbs. The free or included drinks for dinner are much the same as they are for every meal. They have some English breakfast teas though that they didn't have before. And English tea time, green tea, cozy chamomile, and black tea, along with your decaf and your regular coffee and unsweetened iced tea, lemonade, fruit punch and water. They also have the uh, Vitality, the juice dispensers, water, apple juice, iced tea, and then this one here is all water. So he may be surprised at everything I got, but it was just to try some things because it was different than we've seen before. So this is peach pie. Right here? Yes. The next one is coffee cheesecake. The next one is a raspberry cheesecake, and then this is labeled Mississippi mud pie, and then this is a brownie. How's the peach cake, the peach pie? Not bad. One to ten scale. Again, the crust. The crusts crust are on amazing. The, yeah, on the, on the pies are all very, very good. On a scale of one to ten, I give it about a seven. Oh wow, well, that's better it, than good. Well. It needs a little bit more peach flavor, more peaches. Well, I'm not a coffee fan, but let me try a coffee cheesecake. I don't taste a lot of coffee And you're at not all. a coffee drinker, so if, if there was coffee there, you'd I know. I would know it. All right, here See we what go. you think about the coffee cheesecake. There's a hint of coffee there. It's, and I think um, it's actually in the crust. It's not really crust, it's cake at the bottom. The like brownie's rinse. not bad, too. I'm not big on chocolate on cruise ships because it's not usually like American chocolate. I'll just say that. And I'm a huge chocolate fan, chocolate lover. And usually the chocolate, <clears throat> sorry, the chocolate on cruise ships is about a four on a one to 10 scale for me. This brownie is actually pretty good. If you just like some basic chocolate, it's pretty good. Yeah. JJ's gonna try the Mississippi mud pie. Very light, very light. Right? That's clearly like whipped cream on top. I better try that again. Show us a, show us a bite. What, oh, so it's like a mousse and then the crust. Right. Mississippi mud pie gets what? Gets an eight. Oh wow. And, and the raspberry? The raspberry, the crust has got nuts in the bottom. So ten being the best raspberry cake or cheesecake you've ever had and this is eight. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to try me some of that. Here. That's pretty good. I don't know about eight though. That's pretty strong. I do like the peach pie. Not a fan of the Mississippi mud because I'm not a fan of mousse, chocolate mousse, or whipped cream, or dark chocolate. And I think that's all three layers. <laughs> so if you're not a fan of mousse type cakes, then stay away from the Mississippi mud. JJ loves it though, right? I do. Peach pie was excellent. And actually the coffee cheesecake was very good. Even if you're not a coffee fan, but I mean, I seriously hardly tasted it at all. Overall, what gets your vote? I will have to agree that the raspberry was like outstanding. Excellent. And I thought yesterday maybe was the oddest conglomerate ever, but it's not. This is mayonnaise for the burger that I found after I got orange chicken and fried rice. So of course you have to get fries with the cheeseburger and the mac and cheese was right there. So I mean, what are you going to do? And of course then you got to have your ranch for your french fries. Oh, or the burger. I like ranch on my burger. You know, your stomach doesn't know the difference. This is what we do. We give y'all our review of the food. So today in the Windjammer, the orange chicken was quite fatty. I would not go with the orange chicken. The ranch was like water. 
<laughs> it was very runny. It had an okay flavor if you could get enough to stick on the food. The fries, I like really crispy fries, and these are not at all. And they were like that yesterday, and I kind of thought it might be because they were fresh and they hadn't sat under the warmer long enough, but they just don't have crispy fries. The burger was good. I have determined that I like, I, I like a char grilled burger, or grilled or whatever. I like that taste. If you don't like that, they do, you can choose your own burger patty in the Windjammer, so you can choose a lighter cooked one if you want it. My fish with the creamy lemon sauce. He said his white was fish outstanding. was awesome. If you didn't need to save room for dessert, you would have gone to get more fish. I would have. For dessert, vanilla layer cake, I think is what they said it was, and they're cream puff crazy these days. This is a, it's a did, nut. Did you just call me a cream puff? It's a nut, sometimes. And then some more uh, pineapple custard tart. I think that's what we had yesterday that we liked so much. It's a brighter yellow though. And carrot pound cake. They're kind of pound cake crazy these days in the Windjammer too. So um, they had a blueberry streusel something and I ran out of room on the plate. So we'll have to try that one later. Try the vanilla, see how it is. Mm -hmm. The vanilla is amazing. Wait a minute, it had two hmm and a hmm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vanilla layer cake is good. That Here, like y'all try cake. some of this. And let's try this pineapple something custard tart. Taste of pineapple. Coconut. It's got coconut in it too. Mmm. The pound cake's been good and moist throughout. And the, the cream puffs are okay. I mean, they're not sweet enough inside for me, but again, I'm a southern girl who likes super sweet things. Cream puffs are good with black coffee. Probably so. You like the wedding cake better. Definitely. JJ switched it up a little bit for lunch. Not much. Tomato cucumber salad. Oh. Macaroni salad. There you go. The good old fashioned ranch with all the fixings. All the veggies. Chicken, fish, and a little tartar, tartar sauce what for kind the of fish. Like breaded fish and then chicken wings? No, this uh, is the, that's part of a breast and this is a thigh. The Sherry conglomerate for the day. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been waiting for broccoli. So, uh, you know, they had broccoli, so I had to get broccoli. Broccoli with a chili dog but and french fries. you know, I, I had to get my chili dog on. What is that on top of the chili? That is cheese sauce because they didn't have any shredded cheese handy. And then you got to have your french fries, of course, with your chili dog. And then the pièce de résistance. I can never say that. Why do I keep trying? Sweet potato soup with croutons. Okay, I may actually video the buffet for y'all today because there's kind of some interesting choices. How was the macaroni salad? I better try it again. I have a hard time keeping the macaroni salad I on the fork. I take it, it's good. But if you'll stop eating, I need to ask you about the chicken. That's a chicken bone, so you've already finished it. How was it? The seasoning was good. They, <clears throat> It appears that the Windjammer has pared down some of their options. Right. Like on the salad bar, there's no black olives. There has been no black olives. No fresh mushroom, um, no seeds, mm. sunflower seeds or anything like I that. I did see sunflower seeds over by the bread the other day. Now I'm going to try the them. cucumber salad. It's supposed to be vinegar and oil. It's mostly vinegar. The broccoli is good because it's soft. So if you like crispy broccoli, maybe it's not. Give me that tree root. Yeah, see, he likes the tree trunk. Give me, a, I cut give me off that tree root. The, I cut off the tree trunk. Give me that tree root. Uh, and I had to add salt, salt, which I never really add salt to any food. Just steam. Um, but they're super soft, so I love it. The chili dog is, of course, very good. The fries are a little crispier today, but I got them from the bottom of the barrel. And the sweet potato soup is very, very hot and good. It's not as flavorful as I thought it was going to be. And I don't really taste, not necessarily taste sweet potatoes, but it's, it's good. Newsflash, the macaroni salad contains chunks of chicken. That's How was the news fish? Flesh. Uh, the fish, it was was breaded fried fish and the so piece, hard. the one piece that I happened to get was more bread than fish, but I'm not sure that that's the case throughout. Oh, okay. I just picked one up. More bad news. Cucumber salad, <clears throat> no bueno. Tomatoes were too soggy, tasted as if it was maybe left over. I love good cucumber like salad it. and it does, it has no white onion in it either. Either. We tell you, 
the good, the bad, and the ugly here, folks. That's it. We'll see how many new things we have on a port day here in Windjammer for lunch. We have a regular salad, chicken. Oh, it literally says chicken macaroni salad. JJ was surprised it had chicken in it. Tomato cucumber salad and all your salad fixings, along with uh, actual chicken for your salad. And ranch dressing, raspberry dressing and Italian dressing. White rice, grilled veggies, which look like a squash and a broccoli and a carrot, two different squashes. Your mashed potatoes and brown gravy, horseradish sauce, and roasted beef brisket. Hi, looking good. Roasted sweet potatoes, Moroccan couscous, breaded pangasius. I guess that's the fish that JJ had. Pangasius is a fish. And tartar sauce right here for you, along with barbecue pork chops and barbecue sauce and roasted chicken. I think that's also the chicken that JJ had. Got your salad bar fixings right there, along with stir fry veggies, roasted chicken. Those pieces are even bigger than they were over there. Mashed potatoes and gravy, fish curry, and here's where I got my sweet potato soup and beef broth with tortellini. Over here with the international cuisine, you got your white rice, your vegetable vindaloo, Moroccan couscous and steamed veggies. And then you have uh, the papadum. This says it's roti, but they have it closed, so I'm not sure. And then as every day, they've had the mixed pickles, the raita, some kind of sauce, and the mango chutney. Usually every day they've been having some kind of grilled um, food here in the middle under the favorites section. This happens to be a fried rice station today. At Giovanni's, I think. Giovanni's it's table. To, to, tomato, I don't know what it's called. It looks like tomato bread because that's a tomato and it's on a piece of bread. And then a antipasti plate. I'm gonna have some of that bread and cheese and meat. I'm not sure what kind of meat is that? Salami. That looks really good. So I had some of this bread right here along with this. You think that's carpaccio? I think so. And the mo mozzarella cheese, amazing. And they just brought those to us. I'm not sure if they're on the menu or not, but they're they're good. We found out the name of the tomato bread. Mm. Focaccini. Focaccini bread. Appetizers. You don't remember what that's called? I do not. Neither. And got his oil and vinegar, and we both got minestrone, minestrone soup. soup. <coughs> the broth is very good. And I'm sure if you like onions, peppers. You can save all that for me. But it also has corn. And that's all I see. Corn carrots. I think that's a carrot. Just eat the broth and save the vegetables for me. That's the plan. What'd you get? Uh, I got the filet. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Well, that's a good reaction. Pepper, pepper. I believe I got the bocaccini with bolognese, something like that. Good chunky meat sauce. It's definitely not a bolognese though. It's definitely just a marinara sauce. Jumbo, jumbo noodles? Yeah, it has a good taste though. The, one of the uh, maitre d's or managers came over. He told us the recipe for the filet because he mentioned that it was different than chops. It's marinated. It's, it's a 12 hour marinade of uh, virgin olive oil, fresh garlic, thyme, and rosemary. Marinate the steak 12 hours, cook it, bon appetit. So my pasta is called bocatini, and it literally has holes in it. Like the long, it looks like thick, a tube. It looks like thick spaghetti, but it, it has holes in it. And it's he said that they make it here before every seating, two hours before. And he said, we have a machine for everything. Homemade pasta. Meaning they like make it here and it puts the hole in it or whatever, like all the pasta they make here on board. Um, and even though it's not like the white or half white, like pink bolognese sauce I'm used to, it is really good. And it does not taste like 
regular spaghetti with meat sauce. I don't know what's different about it, but it's better. What did you order? I don't know. I had to have her pronounce it for <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you can't say it. It looks like peanut butter inside there. What is it? It's a cold mousse with a darker chocolate. Dark chocolate on the outside? Very yummy. Classic Italian dessert. Cannoli with a lovely raspberry sauce. Mm. I'm gonna, okay, let's see. Do I dip it or how do I do this? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh yeah. The crust is sounds crispy. Mm. Yeah. The raspberry sauce is super sweet. And I thought it was gonna overpower the cannoli stuffing. But it did not, because that's very sweet too. Starting off with pretzel bread and Me too. butter. The Royal Wedge. Blue cheese, crispy, crunchy bacon. I got the shrimpers, which I've never had before. And I kind of wasn't super hungry and I already ate a piece of pretzel bread. So you may get at least two of these because uh, I want to save room for my steak. I hope so. Perfect. I just heard the word perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Medium. Yeah. Any sauces? You want the sauce? Ooh, oh, sauces. Oh, well, sauces. Just the way the chef. Yes, uh, yeah. like what that. kind of sauces are there? A bernice, a peppercorn, and red wine reduction. You probably Ooh. like the peppercorn. You like the peppercorn? Well, let's try a little. Another filet, and it is hot. It's, Good. it's hot. And I'm trying the sauce. JJ recommended I get the peppercorn is right here and the Bernays is right here. One of the best meals I've had on any cruise ever. The Bernays sauce, I'm a fan. And I'm not surprised because it's creamy and I'm generally a fan of all things creamy. The asparagus, wonderful. I can't fix it like that at home. It's great. And the steak is just perfect. Um, I like the peppercorn sauce too. But the Bernays, I think, is my is my preferred sauce. And the mac and cheese, again, that's perfect. My wife is normally the red velvet cake person, but this has dark chocolate in the in between the layers. And I'm a jo dark chocolate fanatic. Here we go. Didn't stand a chance. Molten chocolate cake with ice cream. You gotta break into that bad boy. You think? Oh, you gotta have the ice cream though on it. Like in like it. in it, in the middle Ooh. of it. Mm-hmm. 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 All the way. Are you even hungry? Not really. I'm not either. And it is lobster night, so I guess we'll take advantage of that. I have at least two. Lobsters? You had at least two in you, huh? The Vidalia onion quiche. That's new. Give that a shot. I've right. never had it before. It looks beautiful. Artisan cheese plates. Very basic. I'm not crazy about the bread. It's like a dark green, but two different cheese, three different cheeses, grapes. Is this a, oh, that's um, like the chutney, the apricot chutney. And celery and nuts. If you're, if you're not ready for something real heavy, but you want a little something to snack on before your meal, the artisan plate is a good idea. Review on the onion tart. Cream sauce is amazing. I believe you used the word, oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. After your first bite. And lobster night. Mm. Oh, but that was really easy to get out, right? You just, they already have it fluffed up. Don't try this at home, I'm a professional. Oh, well then you can get mine out of the shell. I'll be glad no, to, ma'am. it's seriously already fluffed up, folks. So, you see that? And veggies. And uh, liquid butter for your lobster. And I got sour cream for my potatoes. Amazing. The, the lobster, uh, JJ already asked for a second one because they're kind of small. But the flavor is wonderful. You know, they give you the butter to dip it in. The potato. Butter and sour cream for me. Um, the broccoli, I didn't even need any salt on the broccoli. It's already, you know, whatever, seasoned or cooked well. That's great. Dessert. Cheesecake. And Pretty tasty. If Junior's is a 10, what is this? Seven. Oh, that's good. Baked Alaska. Never had it. I'm trying it this dinner. I'm not even sure how to eat it. 
Baked Alaska. From the top down. Marine. I'm not a real fan of Marine. But let's see. Okay. Eat it just like a piece of cake, huh? Yep. There you go. Okay. And that's the icing. I'll even get some of this raspberry sauce in there. That is super sweet. Dancing in your mouth. Like the meringue is not meringue. That's right. like sugar icing meringue. This may be my new favorite dessert. Hi, too. This is the menu in the main dining room. Quite a few options so that you can uh, screenshot or, you know, pause and take a look at the options here in the main dining room. The maple donut is my new favorite. What's it looking like? Oatmeal and uh, raisins. Always got to get his oatmeal in. Got to get my oatmeal in. Ooh, that's a nice looking fruit. A little plate. fruit on the side. Yes. A little cream for the oatmeal. You got your milk. It's milk, right? Uh, like she said. Yeah, milk. it looks like milk. Warm milk. Yep. Is your oatmeal the same as windjammer? <clears throat> it's better. It's not boiled down to paste. So I ordered fried eggs, and the hash brown came with it. Chicken sausage, and French toast, which I haven't had on board all week. I am not a fan of whipped cream, so I did not get the whipped cream, but I got the berries and, of course, the syrup. And your main course, he's got his boiled eggs. Per perfect food. Rotate your plate. There we go. Okay, I guess everything comes with a hash brown and a tomato. I'll and then you got your bacon. Yes. I have missed my fried eggs. I haven't had fried eggs all week because in the Windjammer, you have to stand in line and wait for them, and I just it hasn't been worth it. So let me try the French toast. Pretty good. You're giving up on the bacon? I am. Why? Uh, it's a little too greasy for me. Review of breakfast. I mean, it was okay. The bacon, the bacon got me because it's a little, it's much greasier than what I like. It kind of just gets your stomach it just, upset. Yeah, it just kind of put the brakes on my digestive system. So yeah, because you it's didn't okay. eat two of your eggs. I got your boiled eggs. I ate my two. oatmeal and my fruit. Two hard-boiled eggs out of four. So we're all right. And I was thrilled to get my fried eggs again. It, it takes a little longer. This isn't a buffet schedule. <laughs> Remember, it's a sit down meal and you gotta wait you know, for the kitchen and the wait staff and all to bring you your food. So if you're in a hurry for breakfast, MDR is not the place to go. Correct. But I loved uh, getting my fried eggs after all week of, and I found it odd that this buffet didn't have fried eggs on the buffet because both wonder and adventure. I mean, even Adventure's a smaller boat, and even Adventure had fried eggs already on the buffet. And the French toast, you had some of my French toast? It was very good. It was good. Yeah. It was uh, on point. And the chicken sausage is good as always. It's good in Windjammer too. Worth trying if you want something different and you have the time. Definitely check out breakfast in the MDR. Here is the menu for the last night dinner. I'm finding the menu to be very similar to Wonder. So I think it is across the the board, pretty similar. Across but, the fleet? Yeah, across the fleet. Wanted y'all to have a snapshot. You can pause the video and snap screenshot or whatever if you see something. And of course, do not forget that your added fee across the bottom here, you got your lobster and your uh, chops grilled filet mignon is $16.95 and your surf and turf and you can have these in the dining room at any time <coughs> throughout the week you just pay a little extra you don't get the whole experience like you would at chops but you get the food appetizer last night dinner coconut shrimp they do have the tail still on them and they are crispy and hot very crispy tasty and that was slaw it was a uh, fresh uh, made slaw with a, with a light vinegar. Second appetizer is Caesar salad. Caesar salad. And I love the way that they do their Parmesan cheese and spaghetti strings. Oh right, and little yeah. strips. Yep. You got it? Cheese tortellini. Tortellini review. Very good. It is not as, you don't want to use the word flavorful because then that makes it sound like this is not good. 
it's not as strong tasting. Like the cheese inside is a little, uh, it's a more subtle cheese flavor. The sauce is very good. Of course, our Alfredo sauce at home is is excellent at this Italian restaurant we go to. This You're is still, at home. I, yeah, this is still very good. He got the herb crusted salmon. Salmon skin on, folks. Skin on. So just if that, in case you know, or you've never had fish with skin on, what's with it? Potatoes. Potatoes. And, and some oil. snap peas. Snap peas and a light cream sauce. Okay, well give us a, a review of the salmon. See how it is. Very good. Peasers. He's going back to his old famous standby. It's the apple tart with ice cream and whipped cream. Because it's good, right? It's better than good. It's excellent, evidently. I had cream brulee for the first time ever on adventure, I think. May have been wonder. Anyway, I'm having it again because I really like it. And I already had a taste of this, and it's very good. So I highly recommend. I think I showed you earlier in a vlog that they do have the Starbucks menu here. They are extra, of course, they're fee. So if you have a drink package or if you have like diamond vouchers, you can get the, the Starbucks drinks here at the Cafe Promenade. I can't believe I haven't had ice cream this week. Seriously, we haven't had a single uh, serving of ice cream. They have two sides worth of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Butter pecan, mint chocolate chunk, chocolate. I mean, they really. And they have uh, these extras too, if you want that on your ice cream. Over here is vanilla, sweet cream and cookies, and cherry Garcia. I don't know, there are a lot of other flavors there though, so I don't know, those are just three signs out of one, two, three, four, five, ten flavors. So, Happy Promenade is your place to go for snackaroonies. Thanks for joining us for all the food, joys, and a few disappointments on Explorer of the Seas. Hope this helps you get excited for your next sailing. Blessings.